I'm going to tell you an amazing story about a small mouse. He is very curious, kind, and fond of adventures. My mother told me this story, and she heard it from her mother. Lie down comfortably and listen to me carefully. Morning came and the mouse woke up. He stretched out contentedly. The trees and beautiful flowers around him also woke up. Snow white clouds were floating across the sky and the golden sun was shining brightly on the horizon. The mouse smiled at the sun's gentle rays, washed his face with a droplet of dew, and waited impatiently for the beginning of a wonderful new day. He spread out a map on a stump and started to plan the route for his next trip. There were already a lot of marks on the map from visiting different places. For example, last summer the mouse traveled to the Mystery Pine Forest. It was one of his first trips. The forest was quite near to the house, but the road there was very interesting anyway. The mouse even brought a big pine cone from the forest stuffed with the tastiest pine nuts. If you put them into a cup of tea, it will become very delicious. After that, he went east to the people's town full of dangers. The road to that place was longer and more unpredictable. Once there, a red street cat even tried to eat him. That time, the mouse managed to jump into a garbage container and made a miraculous escape. When the weather gets cold, almost all mice try to live closer to people. It is easier for them to get warm and find food this way because people always leave their food unattended. Once, the mouse got a big piece of chocolate cake half eaten by a small boy. He even had to call his friends to help because there was so much. And a month ago, the mouse visited a barn belonging to a lonely farmer. Several days later, he came back home with a week's supply of grains. Where to go this time? Today, the mouse decided to go to a place he had never been before. And this place was marked on the map with a rainbow. They say that rainbows bring luck and a person who manages to see it will definitely get a piece of luck. The mouse's father said that once he was lucky to see it in the sky. Since then, all cats have stayed away from the father. The mouse got his backpack out of the closet and started to pack his things. The backpack was so small and there were so many necessary things to take. First, the mouse put extra pants and a t-shirt into it. Then, a flashlight and a compass. He tucked a piece of cheese, colored pencils, and a sketch pad into a big pocket. And with an effort, he pushed a small bag of grains and a bottle of water into a small pocket. It was not the first time the mouse had gone on a trip. Therefore, he knew that he should take only basic necessities. 
The weather was fine. The mouse put a backpack on his shoulders and started out. He walked along the narrow path and quietly sang his favorite song. A hare ran past close to the path and wished him good luck and a squirrel sitting on a branch waved farewell to the mouse. The mouse gave a little smile. He was glad that he had so many friends, and he thought for a moment that he would miss them very much. Suddenly, the mouse noticed a slight motion in the grass and stopped. A beautiful butterfly was sitting on a blade of grass. It was fluttering its amazingly decorated wings. The mouse couldn't take his eyes off this beauty. He came closer to take a good look at the butterfly, but it was frightened and flew away. The mouse got upset and sat down on a small stone. And then he took a piece of paper, pencils, and started to draw. He decided to draw the butterfly to keep it in his memory forever. The mouse did not have a camera, so he tried to draw in his sketch pad all his best highlights. The mouse was carefully drawing lines and spots to copy the butterfly's beauty on the paper. First, he drew the body. Then, the legs, head, and wings. And after that, he began to reproduce the designs. He was so carried away by drawing that he didn't even notice that a small girl came up to him. She was standing nearby and looking with admiration at his drawing. Then the girl started to jump on the grass and asked the mouse to give the butterfly drawing to her as a present. He wished he could keep his creation. But the girl was looking at him so imploringly that he could not resist and gave her the piece of paper with the drawn butterfly. The girl pressed the drawing against her chest, gave a broad smile, and happily ran up the path. And the mouse decided to draw another butterfly. So he set to work and did it devotedly. As earlier, he was carefully drawing the designs one after another. But that time, he took greater care with the details. He decided to additionally draw the blade of grass on which the butterfly had been sitting. The new butterfly was very beautiful, even more beautiful than the previous one. She seemed to rise up swiftly on her wings and fly away. The mouse carefully put the drawing into his backpack and went on his trip. As he was walking, he thought that even one butterfly managed to bring so much joy to him and to a totally unknown girl. The mouse realized that creativity helped to keep beauty in one's heart. And furthermore, creativity could make not only the artist happy, but also the surrounding people. He started to sing his favorite song again and walk faster. His house had already dipped below the horizon, and the green meadows were spreading in front of him. But suddenly, the sky clouded over. It turned dark and started to rain. The strong wind lifted the mouse in the air and carried him towards the river. He was very scared and cold. 
the storm seemed unending. As the mouse approached the river, he saw a maple leaf floating in the waves. The mouse curled up and landed right on it. He struggled to stay on the leaf. The rain was getting heavier and the waves became higher. The river carried the mouse forward and suddenly in the distance he saw a log that blocked his way. The log was getting closer and closer with every passing second. The mouse pressed his whole body to the leaf and closed his eyes. But a big wave lifted him up and carried him over the barrier. The log was behind him now and the danger had passed. The mouse opened his eyes, got on his paws and continued to float. The river kept carrying him forward. But suddenly, the first rays of the sun emerged from behind the clouds and the rain was slackening. And on the horizon, he could now see the river bank. The mouse noticed that a stick was floating near his leaf. He caught it and now he had a real oar. He gripped the stick tightly and began rowing faster. There were almost no waves anymore and the water became so transparent that now it was possible to see the sandy bottom of the river. The mouse could even see a big fish slowly swimming close to him. Very soon, his leaf washed ashore. He happily climbed onto the grass and saw the rainbow high in the sky. It was so bright that the mouse could clearly see all its colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. The world seemed beautiful again, and the mouse realized that sometimes troubles come in life, but any storm is always followed by calmness. You need to be brave and believe in the best, then you will definitely see your rainbow in the sky. The mouse was so tired. He decided to sit down under the nearest tree and get some rest. The leaves perfectly protected him against the hot sun and the birds were singing him to sleep with their beautiful songs. The mouse was very afraid that he could not return home before dark. He tried to get to his feet but immediately fell to the ground. Suddenly, he saw a large white bird flying high in the sky. It was circling above the tree under which the mouse was sitting and then started slowly descending. He had never seen it before. It was a seagull. She landed near the mouse and said hello. The mouse's heart beat joyfully and he asked the seagull to bring him home. He told the seagull about his next trip and showed her his picture of the amazing butterfly. He told how he got into a storm and miraculously survived. And the seagull, of course, agreed to help him. The mouse climbed onto the bird's back with the last of his strength and away they flew. They flew high above the clouds and the mouse looked down and pointed the way. 
The pine forest was visible from a bird's eye view. A little further, you could see the people's town and even the lonely farmer's barn. And after a while, the mouse saw his house. The seagull landed right near the mouse's hole. He thanked his new friend, promised to be more careful in the future, and presented the seagull with a cone with pine nuts. After that, the bird flapped its big wings and flew away. The mouse followed her with his eyes for a long time and realized that the seagull was his miracle. She saved him and brought him home. The mouse waved after her and went down to his hole. It was such a pleasure to be back home. He carefully put his backpack in the corner and went to bed. That night, the mouse had only bright and cheerful dreams. And you, too, can get comfortable in your bed. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Very soon, you, too, will have magic dreams.